everyone. So today I am doing a first impression. I'm really, really, really excited to do this. It is on the new Hourglass Stick Foundations and I have heard some pretty incredible things about these so my expectations are so high. By the way, don't worry, I will be doing this soon. The Urban Decay one. What is this? The All Nighter? This will be coming very soon so keep an eye out for that because I know a lot of you guys are requesting that as well but today I am freshly fake tanned. My fake tan is still obviously developing. I'll list my fake tan routine down below. And this particular color is just a little bit too pale. So I thought I would do the Hourglass Foundation because they were actually so kind. Mecca actually sent this to me. Like they were so kind and sent me every shade basically. So I'm incredibly fortunate. So there's definitely, hopefully gonna be something to match me in here today. And they also sent me the little brush that is supposed to be used with it. So I'll use this too. So like normal, I will prime half of my face today. So we can see if there's any difference between the application, longevity, etc., etc. Look at that color difference. <laughs> Whoa! So before I prime, I'm just going to quickly read you some information about the foundation. It's called the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick by Hourglass. The packaging is incredible. I actually really, really love it. I think it's so sleek and classic and classy looking. And then the lid comes off and the product is in a triangle shape, which I feel like is quite handy because you can kind of get in around different areas of your face. Or like if I was contouring with this shade, for example, you can get a nice sharp line with it rather than a circular stick. I feel like it's quite unique, so I like that already about it. All right, it says there is double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage. So it's supposed to be super full coverage. Formula adjusts to body temperature to blend into the skin for the smoothest, most seamless finish. 12 hour long wearing waterproof formula and available in 26 shades, which is incredible. It's really good that they have so many different shades. So it says to prep the skin with the mineral veil primer, which I have, so I'll use that. And then use two to three dots of vanish to each section of the face. Start with less add more if necessary the formula is highly concentrated and then buff in with the vanish foundation brush in tiny circular motions for the most seamless finish seems easy so this is the veal mineral primer by hourglass i am not like the hugest fan of this i don't hate it i just don't love it either it's just eh. but i'll use it today because obviously it's the same brand so i'm just taking a little bit and i'm going to apply it to half my face so we can see if it makes a difference so there are a bunch of different skin tones, so I'm just going to try and find which one I will be. Okay, I'm going to go in with the shade Sand, which looks like this. And I'll just start with this side of my face. It glides on so smoothly, like no effort at all. It feels really silky smooth and slippery. By the way, in this you get 7.2 grams. This is the brush it comes with. It looks just like an angled face brush by so Beauty, except maybe a tiny bit smaller. The density feels basically the same as well, so... It says to use circular motions. Oh wow, that is incredibly full coverage. Like it spreads out and it just covers so well. The more I blend it, obviously the coverage kind of decreases. Like you can definitely still see all of my redness, like all through here is just, yeah. Like it's still a really nice coverage, but the coverage definitely decreased the more I blended. Common sense really, like that's usually always going to happen. I'm going to put a little bit more on. I'm just going to do strokes instead of circular motions. I feel like it gives a better coverage. It feels super lightweight, like you can barely even feel it on the face. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation right now. This colour looks like half a shade too dark for me, but my tan's going to develop darker throughout the day, so hopefully it should match. I'm going to do the other side now, we'll see how well it blends on the unprimed side. Well, so far it feels the exact same. Maybe a little bit less smooth, but I mean, it's not hard to blend at all either way. Like it's really easy to blend on both sides. Definitely just doing kind of strokes to blend it out gives you a better coverage. The coverage is beautiful. It's definitely a full coverage. You can still see a few of my freckles peeking through and the pimples on my face are peeking through ever so slightly, but um, overall it's definitely quite a full coverage and it is buildable as well. It just looks smooth. It looks so good. I'm gonna have a quick look at it close up to see um, how it looks over my pores and everything. So over my pores, it doesn't make them more noticeable, but it also doesn't really hide them. It just looks the same as no makeup. Up close, the texture of my skin looks really natural. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. I'll zoom you in quickly. I look really orange right now. I don't know why, because in real life, I do not look orange. It's just on the computer. I don't know. But anyways, you can see the texture of my skin, hopefully. Like, I think it looks really nice. It doesn't look cakey. It just kind of looks like normal skin. 
So I just set my foundation and put on concealer. So the concealer I used under my eyes was this one, the Amazing Concealer in Illuminate by Amazing Cosmetics. And then on my breakouts, I used SX06 Central Skin Enhancer, and I'm obsessed with how it looks. And then for powder, I used my MAC Studio Fix powder, and then the Kat Von D Light powder under my eyes from the contour kit. So yeah, that's my base done and I'm loving it. I've got freaking eyelash glue from yesterday stuck on my eyelashes still. How does this happen to me? So yeah, that's the base done. I'm going to do a quick flash test now. To put it simply, in flash photography it looked absolutely flawless and beautiful and I'm stoked with how it looks. I feel like it looks even better in flash photography than in real life. But yeah, I like it in real life. It looks flawless. With the powder on top, it definitely looks a little bit heavier, but it still doesn't look cakey or anything. It's just obvious that I'm wearing makeup now. Whereas before, the texture of my skin looked very natural. Once it was set, definitely looks like makeup. I guess I will talk to you guys later. It has just gone 11 o'clock, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, a little update. It is now 1.21. Just finished my makeup a little while ago. I really like how it came out. Something a little bit different, a little bit bold. Sorry about the uh, bright lighting. So it's only been on for a couple of hours, but I thought I'd give you like an initial update. I have to say it does look a little bit cakey at this point. Mostly along areas where I'm quite dry, like around these breakouts just here and in around my nose is quite dry at the moment. So my dry Dry spots it is kind of gripping onto. Other than that, it hasn't creased anywhere, it hasn't faded at all, which is good because you don't really want it to fade after a couple of hours. But uh yeah, apart from that, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, I'll update you guys in a few more hours when more stuff has actually changed. I just thought I'd update you on that. Like there's this like scabby bit of skin, like real dry bit of skin, and the foundation is just gripped onto it. It's gonna be so hard for you to see. I'll talk to you guys in a few more hours. Hey everyone, so it is now 5 p.m. So it's been on for like six hours. We're just under six hours. It hasn't changed too much from my last update. It still hasn't faded at all. As you can see, the coverage looks incredible. It just definitely looks quite cakey. I'll zoom you in in a moment. And it's completely like faded over my breakouts and just grabbed onto them and clumped up and around my nose it looks cakey. Hopefully you guys will be able to see like around here it looks so cakey around my nose, around my breakouts and stuff, but I did put on that sensual skin enhancer. It doesn't normally go cakey on me, so I think it might have been a mixture of the sensual skin enhancer plus this foundation. It's not awful unless you look closer, but it still kind of annoys me. It's really, really cakey between my eyebrows where I've got all that uneven skin texture as well and like little pimples, and it looks quite oily. I'm just gonna feel it. It doesn't feel oily, but I feel like it looks kind of oily in real life. Disregarding the false lighting as well, like just a natural light, it looks a little bit shiny. In places that I didn't actually, you know, put my highlighter and don't mind my lashes, they're like starting to peel off. My whole makeup is just looking terrible. I just can't be bothered with life right now. I need to take off this lipstick anyways, and it's all like wearing off and the lashes are one of those days, you guys, I've just been spending all day editing and I'm just like, I can't be bothered. It still does look very flawless though, like don't get me wrong. And I love how it hasn't faded because a lot of foundations fade on me, especially down in this area where I have redness. Usually this starts to peek through by now. So I'm really happy with that. But it just looks kind of heavy in some spots. I don't know if it's just because I'm kind of dry at the moment or what. I definitely don't need to exfoliate because I exfoliated this morning and I did a face mask last night. So it's not just like, you know, dead skin or anything. Like I think it's just grabbing onto my dry areas and it just looks really cakey on those dry areas. So there's definitely something to think about. I will come back one more time later tonight before bed and we will see how it's going. Don't mind the lipstick. <laughs> anyway, um, it's only like 8.30 but I just can't handle this anymore. Like. It's gotten to the point where it just feels heavy and I just wanna wash my face. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look that great anymore. It just continuously gets a little bit more cakey, especially around the nose and where I've got pores and dry skin and you know, textured skin from breakouts and pores and stuff. It just clings onto them and is just looking cakier and cakier. Where my skin is smooth though, like on my cheeks, it looks fantastic. It hasn't faded, it looks beautiful. I feel like if you've got like perfectly textured skin with like not really any pores and like no dry patches or anything, it'll work so well for you. But with me, like I don't even feel like my pores are that bad, but I don't know. I'll have to try it again with a pore primer. And I definitely want to try it for cream contouring because like look how great it looks here. Like imagine how nice it would be to contour and highlight. Like it looks so smooth and just amazing. It's just like in my T-zone where it just, <sighs> no. I do still like the foundation. I'm sure I'll still use it. 
um, especially for photo shoots and stuff like under that flash photography it looked absolutely beautiful but over an extended period of time I probably wouldn't recommend it it looked good at first but yeah after a while it's not so good I would also like to experiment with it using a little bit less product because I feel like I don't know it just looks quite heavy so I'd like to use a little bit less and see how that goes and then just use a little bit of concealer to up the coverage if I need to so yeah that is my first impression I don't know if that really helped considering it's a very like 50 50 kind of review like I love it and I hate it at the same time like I can't I can't make up my mind and I'll definitely look forward to trying it out with like a setting spray as well because hopefully that would help make it look less cakey sorry about the um really attractive lipstick right now i know i probably should like touch up for videos but i just can't be bothered because i'm about to wash my face so yeah let me know if you guys have uh tried this foundation and if you have write a comment down below let us know what you thought let us know your skin type let us know how it went for you do you love it do you hate it we're really interested to know um i feel like this foundation would be great you just gotta have the right kind of skin for it you know i mean from far away like this doesn't look bad does it it looks fine it's just up close like when i look at myself in the mirror up close and i'm like Ugh. so yeah that's my first impression i hope it helps somehow i'm gonna keep trying it out because i loved the application and i love how flawless it is it's just like the cakiness and stuff i need to like work on that and try to like find my way around it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already i would love to have you here i'll talk to you guys in my next video Bye. And don't forget to check out some more of my videos. The video on the left is a chit chat get ready with me and it's on like a really pretty colorful look. It's very iridescent with purple eyeliner. And then the video on the right is a another get ready with me actually, but it's using all Korean makeup brands. So make sure you check them out. The links are down below if you can't click the screen.